Gary Wagner's away on vacation this Friday, but we have another Elliott Wave trader joining us today. Avi Gilbert joins me on the line. Avi, good to have you back on the show. Thank you very much for having me. So Avi, obviously the bears in firm control here of the gold and silver market, yet you say it may be a final decline for gold and silver. Yes, that is correct. Um, I, if you remember, when we came into 2014, I was pretty confident that lower levels will be seen. So I never thought the bears uh, really lost control at any point this year. Uh, it was just a matter of how they were setting up to get to these lower lows. Um, for now, in my ideal scenario, I'd like to see uh, a rally um, taking us into next week um, in uh, gold, silver, and also in uh, the miners. Uh, this is my, quote, ideal scenario, a rally into next week to, uh, to shake out all the new short traders, which will then set up what could be the final uh, capitulation decline in, uh, in metals and miners. So Avi, last time we had you on was in July and you were calling for more whipsaw in the gold market. And we did see some dips and spikes along the way, but the trend is really towards the downside. At what level do you see the bottom for gold and when do you expect to see it? Well, I'm, I'm looking, uh, when, I, when I track the, uh, the gold market, um, I'm using the GLD and I've had a long-term target uh, of between 95 to 105 on the GLD. What it's telling me is um, as long as we can get this rally into next week, um, potentially topping maybe end of next week, maybe even as late as Thanksgiving, I'd like to see by the end of 2014, I'd like to see a bottom similar to what we saw last year. Uh, and then we start rallying into uh, the following year. Um, there's an outside potential that that bottom that I'm seeing in December may only be the second to last bottom and not the final bottom in this three and a half year uh, bear move. So I'm going to remain open um, regarding the rally I expect into 2015, but we are going to be treating this next lower low as the final lows. And in the event that uh, we do see the rally only being corrective, we'll just hedge our long-term positions. And when you're talking a bottom, Avi, what levels are you looking at? Is it 1,100 or lower? We're looking below 1,100 most likely. Um, 105, I'm not sure what that equates to uh, in, uh, in, in, in gold per se, but um, uh, 105 is going to be my minimum target. My ideal target is somewhere around 100. And Avi, you speak about the GLD. Can you believe that next week will mark the 10-year anniversary that the GLD came onto the scene. I think it's the perfect timing for us to potentially be bottoming in this region. All right, Avi, let's talk miners now, and they're obviously hurting with the GDX trading currently around $18. How do you see the, the GDX set up here? In the same manner, um, we actually just bought along this morning, um, and uh, we're, we've now moved our stops to break even. Ideally, again, in my ideal setup, I would like to see the GDX moving up to the 2050 region um, within the next week or two. And uh, that should set up um, what could very well be the final decline um, in the miners. So uh, on the next decline in the miners, we're going to be going in um, for long-term uh, for long-term positions and uh, loading up, um, expecting very, very, uh, you know, very, very long-term bull market to begin once we've hit these final bottoms. Avi, and before I let you go, what would be the safest strategy for an investor right now? Would you be looking at trading uh, paper or physical gold? I would stay away from uh, from all ETFs. Um, we've done some webinars out there on this about how toxic the GLD and the SLV are. Uh, other than if you wanted to use it for trading purposes. As a long-term investor, I believe nobody should be uh, considering the GLD or the SLV from a long-term perspective. I think they're great trading instruments. If you want long-term uh, long term buy and holds in, in, uh, in the metal industry, I believe you have to. You must go with some high quality miners and you must go with physical. On that note, Avi, thanks so much for joining us this Friday. Thank you so much. You too. And thanks for watching this edition of Chart This, but with Avi Gilbert joining us this Friday, we'll see you next week. In the meantime, email us newsfeedback at kiko.com. Thanks for watching.